you uh, take away from the film from Monday night? Yeah. Um, it was a uh, well-played team, well-played game by both sides. Um, um, they played better, made made a few more plays than we did, and uh, and earned that win. Jesse, you guys second halves this season, statistically like right there at the bottom of the league in points and in yards. And do you is that something you've communicated um, or, or noticed at all, and, and been trying to fix? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, we're we're trying to score on every drive. There, like of these second halves, I know it hasn't been every game, but throughout the, the season, have you, have you seen a theme or what's going on there? Uh, just just uh, attacking it, looking at it, yeah. Just uh, run defense wise, what did you what did you see on the, from the film? Yeah, we could. Well, I mean, we could have done better. Getting off blocks, um, yeah, um, and I had a few calls we didn't play right. Um, and uh, you know, led to led to some big plays, um, and they they were they were effective running the football. Um, you know, just like anything. What's our response? Our response is to yeah, own it, fix it, and um, you know, know we're uh, very capable of of uh, making those stops. Do you feel like it was more technique, some scheme stuff versus sort of a level of physicality? Um, no, I thought it was just, uh, not the, uh, not what you just said there. No, I didn't think it was level of physicality. I think our guys played really physical. I think, um, yeah. yeah. More, more stuff that you feel like you can fix versus like a, like a yes. physicality issue. Correct. Uh, there was a report out there that J.K. Dobbins has a, uh, MCL sprain. Is that accurate? He's working through something with his name. Yeah, the report also says he's going to be out this week, expected to be out this week. Is that um, yeah, I would think he was. He, he'll miss some time. Do you anticipate it'll be a long-term thing, or is it more of a week-to-week? I don't. Yeah, I don't know really how to categorize it, or really know how to ca- categorize that. What do you think about the other running back guys that are on and come on now? Yeah, um, like him a lot. Um, you know, it's Gus is Gus is heating back up. Um, great to have him back in there. Uh, Hassan is, is really playing spectacular football. Um, special teams, he's playing really good. At, uh, pass protection. Uh, he's, he's had some crucial first down pickups for us in short yardage. Uh, and Kamani, uh, excited to see him out there as well. Do you know if J.K. will have on injured reserve? I uh, don't know that yet. Uh, DJ Chark, we asked about him a couple weeks ago. You said you really liked what you were getting from the guys ahead of him. Um, and you would see a, an opportunity to, to rotate their receiver. What's it going to take at this point for, for DJ to... Oh, the the opportunity is there. Opportunity is there. And, uh, yeah, I really like what I see. And, uh, yeah, like like every week, there's there's uh, opportunity. Good. Opportunity is guaranteed. And, and DJ has the license and the ability to uh, take advantage of that opportunity. So possibility that he's, he's active this yes. week? Possible. Oh, what do you think from uh, Kirk Cousins? Yeah, just a uh, consummate pro. Uh, outstanding, consistently good. You know, every game he, he uh, just plays at that, that high level um, consistently. He's got a knack, great feel for the game, uh, super tough, uh, competitive as they come, uh, nothing but respect. What did you see from Khalil coming back from one game? Yeah, uh, he, w- he was very effective, um, played, a, played a, a good amount of plays and, and uh, didn't have any, uh, what I've been told, didn't, ha- didn't re-aggravate anything and so building better better How'd you feel like Joey played? good yeah um, the uh, a lot of you know same same amount of pressure and and uh, and uh, thought he played good run game wise I feel like you guys sort of had it going there first quarter what's the first half really 
Was it just an opportunity thing? I think you only had like three design rushes in the second half, like a, a game script thing as far as the running game, or why do you think you weren't able to sort of maintain that through the whole game? Um, effectiveness or amount of, of called, called runs? Was the amount of calls related to, you know, did it influence the effectiveness? Um, I, I don't um, really dive into that question of did we call a pass or did we call a run? Uh, we are trying to move the ball, get first downs, and and uh, get the ball into the end zone. Where do you feel like the running game is at overall? And for the most part, I thought we did that um, in the game. You know, offensively, I mean, put together drives of you know um, you know multiple first downs and and uh, able to move the ball and and um, didn't weren't you know, weren't as a effective as the Ravens were on, on third down. And, um, you know, that's those, those few plays in there. Um, you know, a big part was, uh, you know, was a, was a factor in, in the outcome of the game. How do you feel like uh, Quentin has responded this week? Oh, good. He, uh, yeah, I fully expect Quentin to uh, respond like a stalwart. Um, very capable of, uh, of making those, those plays and, you know, he'll, he'll come back and get back to work, you know, own it, fix it, and um, he'll come back without uh, any fear or doubt. That's, that's what – he's a stalwart like that. That's what I expect. Jim, do you do expect Kassan to back at practice this week? No, I don't, uh, don't have uh, – I don't expect him back this week. And with uh, Denzel and Cam, do you expect them to practice this week? Uh, Denzel, I don't expect to practice today, and I don't expect uh, Cam to practice today, or JK. Are you, do you think Asante will be back this season? Uh, I don't know that. Is this like a it's, a, it's a purely medical thing for him? This is something you should talk to Asante about. It's his, his medical condition. Uh, I'm not in a place to talk about it. You said you don't expect Dizeller camp today, but you, I mean, you expect them to play this Sunday, or, or are you not looking that far yet? Uh, yeah, I don't expect them to practice today. With uh, Cam's ankle, is it potentially an IR situation for him? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, just uh, with right guard, obviously you've been rotating Jamari in, in some short yardage and, and goal line looks. Is it a possibility that you would expand that rotation? Um, is it possible that Jamari might sort of see increased snaps in any capacity moving forward? Uh, it's possible. How have you, how have you felt like Trey has played overall? Things play good. Um, his his pass protection has been been really good, stellar. Uh, run blocking is is uh, is really uh, he's got a lot of momentum there. It's it's getting better and better. You know, at a at a really at a really good level now, and ascending. And just when you're doing that rotation with Jamari, how do you how do you make sure that a player is sort of ready to take that snap? Because he sort of went in the third and one, you guys didn't get it. You ended up getting the, the fourth and one. The next play, I felt like mm -hmm. maybe you needed a snap to like get into the speed of the game. How do you sort of prepare a player to be in that type of rotation where you might only get two, three snaps when he's in there, it's a short yardage, you know, some of those physical plays in the game. Yeah, yeah. it's the it's, um, same as a, a special teams play, um, same as uh, uh, any play. You're sitting on a spring, you're loose, you're ready to go, your uh, helmet on, chin strap buckled, and ready to have your number. Put me in, coach. What about Jamari allows him to have that kind of like mentality being able to be ready? He's a football player. 